Go again, collector ship. So we got another Hot Wheels in. We got the custom Ford Maverick. Doesn't say a year. And I'll be honest with you, I don't think I ever knew about this car, even though I grew up in the States. Uh, it was before my time, I guess. Or I just never paid attention to them for some reason. Uh, so I had to learn a little bit, and correct me if I'm wrong, because Wikipedia seems to always be wrong. But uh, the Ford Maverick is supposed to be a compact class vehicle, and it was available for model years 1970 to 1977. It was rear-wheel drive. There would have been either a couple inline sixes from 2.8 liters, making 100 horsepower, all the way up to a V8 engine that's 4.9 liters, making 200 plus horsepower. Uh, it was discontinued, I guess, in... Uh, well, after 77, because the Ford Fairmont came out in 1978, and I guess was its replacement or something. Uh, but, you know, before that happened, this car was actually quite popular, even though I don't remember seeing this thing. It was conceived as a subcompact import fighter, you know, because Datsun and Toyota were coming into the States and uh, kicking some butt with uh, the fact that the 1973 oil crisis, you know, people didn't want to... Uh, they wanted to save some money on fuel costs, you know, that was in more people's mindsets. And then, uh, well, I, I guess it was just a good good vehicle. Uh, I believe over two million of them were sold over its uh, lifespan. So now let's see, I'm a little curious about the scale as uh, usual. <clears throat> I have two dimensions listed on Wikipedia on the overall length. One of them is 4557, the other is 4750. So I've already pre-calculated uh, those to what they should be in 164, and we're just going to take a measurement. And right now it's 73.4. So it's actually falling in between those two dimensions um, because at the shorter overall length, at 164, it's supposed to be 71.2. That would be like the 1970 to 72, 72 model. And then the later years, if I scale it down, it should be 74.2. So I, if I had to guess, well, it's in between, so it's kind of close to 64. It's not exact for either vehicle, so I don't know what to say. But it, it shouldn't look too out of place from your other uh, true 64 scale vehicles. So if anyone really knows, it'd be great to know what year this is. Um, all I did is I pulled up images of the uh, car that has these hood scoops, which is that yellow image you saw earlier. But every image I see has rectangular uh, auxiliary lights here in the grill. So I, I don't, I didn't see, sorry, I didn't see any images with round lights here. But again, it does say custom, so who knows and then obviously a, a stock Ford wasn't isn't gonna come with these uh, fender flares so it looks very much like a Liberty Walk kit interesting interesting indeed all right so let's see what's going on this is a pretty cool color it's uh, translucent uh, I'm just figuring out to the naked eye it's kind of orange and kind of red at the same time so it's not burgundy nor is it orange is it copper could it orange copper i don't know if any of you guys have this casting what, what color do you guys think this is you know you can't you can't count on the computer screen because everyone's monitors are different and who knows if my, my camera is even calibrated for color correctly. So you really have to look at the model with your own eyes. Okay, well anyways, we've got some pretty cool flames here. Although, I might try to take those off. I kind of like plain, more plain looking vehicles. Flames aren't really... Well, we'll see what happens. I will probably leave that on because it's not too big. Uh, so naturally we've got these giant wheels here. I'm gonna, I think I'm going to swap them out. We got some uh, pretty deep rib details there, those vents there, of course. And then I do like the fact that they molded in these fender mirrors. I think that's cool. Maybe a little silver paint will be nice there. Yeah, silver paint on these lights would be good. A giant air dam here as part of the plastic base. It seems to be like a grill recess there as well. Or it's not a grill, it's just a bumper, bumper vent. This side. Yeah, we got some silver on the door handle, but not on the key lock there. Um, on the 
at the back, it's just black base, but it's nice that they have uh, some light details there. Some uh, paint markers will help that out. A little recess for the license plate. Pretty weak exhaust tip there, but it's better than no exhaust tip, I guess. So, yeah, typical Hot Wheels gouges in the casting. Some scratch or contaminants. It's not too bad, though. I've seen a lot worse. So, I guess for a main line, as usual, I can't really complain. I mean, it's a. it looked somewhat like those photographs to me. Granted, it's a custom, so obviously it doesn't. Maybe I'll try to find some images of customs. We do have the black interior. It would have been nice if it was a lighter color. This one is pretty good. There's a lot of molded detail there in the dashboard. Steering wheel's not too big, not too small. Those are nice bucket seats, actually. Those are nice seats. I like them. So this is two plus two. Yeah, it looks like there's a rear seat there. So it's a two-door coupe of some sort. It's strange that I don't remember this thing at all. I don't know. You'd think with two million of them sold, I would have remembered seeing these things more as a kid. But, uh, heck, I can't even remember things I did yesterday. Alright, well, give me a, a moment here, and let's see what happens. I'm back with some staggered wheels here that I 3D printed. These are of my own design. If you look at this rear wheel straight on, it just looks like a, a twin five-spoke. But once you start twisting it, you come to realize that this spoke is actually coming out more while that one is not. Essentially what I did is I took a V and I rotated it 45 degrees. And so the intention is this outer spoke is going to grab some air and scoop it into the, the brake system. See this is actually curved here so it's actually curved inside of that surface. And it's kind of hard to tell you know on a 164 scale wheel but it is all there. And uh, I put a little brake system back in there, although it's part of the wheel, so it spins along with the wheel. So anyways, you know, this thing came with the staggered uh, Hot Wheels, so I staggered everything. I staggered the wheel in its diameter, you know, the rear diameter is larger than the front, and the tire diameter is also bigger in the rear than the front. So I think it actually looks relatively even, uh, but, you know, it's just bigger in the rear. Um, I didn't drill it apart or anything like that, but uh, I clipped off a little bit of the 3D print to make it fit underneath the fender lip a little bit. So other than that, I uh, removed the flames, as you can clearly see, and I used Scotch branded uh, adhesive remover. It seems to work uh, a lot of the times on these Hot Wheels, unless of course the, the graphics are clear coated. And then uh, I added a little silver paint here for these lights and two little holes here, which I'm going to guess. I don't know if those are lights or not, but I, I had the pen out, so why not? I painted the little mirrors black and silver back there. And then uh, I painted some silver and red for the taillights and silver and also silver dries this little bumper and the, the front bumper a little bit as well with the silver paint marker. I added a little black paint in there, and that was the end of the day. I didn't bother trying to add chrome around the windows, because I was afraid I would hit the, the actual plastic and screw that all up. Alright, so, I guess it's alright. It's interesting that this, I never knew about this car again. But I did find this image here. I didn't find any stock Fords with fender mirrors, but this is a, a car that apparently was at one of the SEMA shows and uh, the internet says this belongs to someone named Sung Kang uh, I'm not sure who that is is that the Fast and Furious guy? Uh, I, I don't know but it might possibly be that you know Hot Wheels I'm pretty sure modeled this casting off of this car because it's got two tiny round holes here and then it's got the round auxiliary lamps which I cannot find on any other, you know, vehicle. So, and then this is the only photograph that I see with fender mirrors in the, so possible, I don't know. I'm just speculating. But uh, <coughs> if anyone knows better, please leave a comment. All right, well, let me uh, pull out the little spin thing here. Let it go for a little lap here. So uh, very often I, I learn quite a bit about the real car industry by collecting 164-ish one, scale die casts. 
whether it's Hot Wheels or uh, Kyoshos or Konamis, I, I've learned a lot about cars I've never seen before. Or maybe I just don't remember. Who knows? It's just so many car, different car designs over the years. So anyways, if, uh, well, if you like Hot Wheels, you already know if you do or you don't. You can't beat it for the price. And every now and then, you know, with a little bit of work, you can make them look a little bit nicer. Some paint markers and stuff. Alright guys, I'll catch you guys the next time around.